富察氏 was Qianlong's perfect wife and empress. In 1727, the Emperor Yongzheng personally chose Fu Caxi for his fourth son Hongli as Di Fu Jin. Because at that time, Yongzheng already secretly chose Hongli as the crown prince, so Hongli's wife must qualify for future empress. Fu Caxi was a perfect candidate. In Qing Dynasty, the family heritage was the most important consideration for empress election. Fu Caxi was from the traditional Manchuria family. Her father was an important minister. Besides the family background, Fu Caxi was also pretty. And well educated, Fu Caxi was a successful empress. She took all responsibilities that an empress should take. She effectively managed the inner court, and carefully took care of Qianlong's kids and mother, the empress' daughter Xiao Shengxian. According to the historical records. The empress' daughter really loved this daughter-in-law, and treated Fu Caxi as her biological daughter. Fu Caxi's excellent works made Qianlong can put all his efforts on dealing with the political events. Except a successful empress, Fu Caxi also was a perfect wife. She knew Qianlong very well. When Qianlong was mad, she always knew how to comfort him. In early age of the emperor, Qianlong increased frog frogility. Fu Caxi really supported her husband. According to the historical records, in daily life, Fu Caxi didn't use luxury decorations. Her most used hair decorations were artificial flowers. Every time Qianlong visited some places, Fu Caxi was always with him. Fu Caxi was Qianlong's soulmate. Fu Caxi's life looked perfectly, but behind the happiness was Fu Caxi's deeply sadness. As an empress, giving birth a son was the most pressure and burden for her. Although in Qing Dynasty, the throne didn't mandatorily be passed to Di Zi, which was the son of the empress, but Qianlong really wanted a Di Zi to hear his crown. One year after Qianlong and Fu Caxi got married, their first kid was born. Although this kid was a girl, as the first-time parents, Qianlong and Fu Caxi were still happy. But this prince, this princess, did died before she was two years old, too young to have a name. Fu Caxi was. Really sad. Fortunately, soon Fu Caxi was pregnant. This time, she gave birth a prince. Qianlong was extremely happy. When the little prince grandpa, the Emperor Yongzheng, got this news, Yongzheng personally gave this little boy a name, Yonglian. Yonglian was a cute, smart boy. When he was four years old, he already knew one hundred traditional Chinese characters. After Yonglian, Fu Caxi had another girl, the Princess He Jing of the first rank, who was Qianlong's favorite daughter. In seventeen thirty-five, Qianlong became the emperor. He immediately. Promoted Fu Caxi 
as the empress, and secretly chose Yong Lian as the crown prince. But only three years later, Yong Lian passed away at eight years old. Both Qianlong and Fu Chashi were extremely sad, but to comfort Qianlong, Fu Chashi couldn't express her deep sadness before him. Seven years after Yong Lian's death, Fu Chashi never got pregnant. But during this time, other consorts totally gave birth for boys. And one girl for Qianlong. Maybe the Buddha heard Fu Chashi's prayer. When Fu Chashi was thirty-four, she got pregnant. In seventeen forty-six, Fu Chashi gave birth her second son, which was Qianlong's seventh son, Yong Chong. Yong Chong was a special boy. His birthday was same as Buddha's birthday. Also, after Yong Chong was just born, it rained after a long time drought. After having this son, Fu Chashi finally moved on, and carefully took care of this son. Unfortunately, two years later, Yong Chong died. Yong Chong's death. Give Fu Chashi a killing blow. To comfort Fu Chashi, three months after Yong Chong's death, Qianlong brought Fu Chashi to take a Eastern tour. During the tour, Fu Chashi seems got better. She could personally took care of the Empress' daughter. But when they were coming back to Beijing. Fu Chashi was seriously sick, and passed away at thirty-six. Apparently, Qianlong didn't prepare his beloved wife's death. After lost Fu Chashi, Qianlong couldn't sleep. He became easily angry. He publicly announced that his oldest son and the third son. Were not allowed to hear the song, only because they didn't feel deeply sad for Fu Chashi's death. Qianlong also punished many ministers because they made different mistakes in Fu Chashi's funeral. Qianlong didn't allow anyone change Fu Chashi's living palace, Changchun Gong. For forty years, until Qianlong was retired, Changchun Gong was used by new empress consorts. Qianlong also wrote lots of poetry to memorize Fu Chashi. Qianlong spent twenty-two years with Fu Chashi, then used fifty years to miss her. There was no doubt that Qianlong's love to Fu Chashi, but this didn't mean Qianlong only loved her. Only eleven days after Fu Chashi passed away, Qianlong already decided who could be his second empress. So in next video, let's see the story of Qianlong's second empress.